keep working like this, I mean by next year I'll be an actual lawyer. Here we are. Wow. You own this place. Well, the bank does. That's why I'm glad you came down, you know, help pay the mortgage and all. <laughs> hey, what are best friends for? That is, as soon as I find a job, I'll help pay the mortgage. It didn't really take time when I packed up. Just had to get out of the city and away from Tanya. Well, you know, I've always said Wellington suits you. Who knows, you might find someone down here appreciates you. Here's your room. Bags arrived yesterday, as you can see. This is real. I actually moved away from here. Yeah. Hey, Brent, there's something I need to tell you. You know, I really thought I loved her, but she barely seemed to notice me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be merry. Hey, look, why don't you um, start unpacking and I'll come back and give you a hand with that, yeah? Hi, Mary. Hey, how's it going? Is he there now? Yeah. So, how are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous. I haven't seen him since that trip to Auckland, what, like three months ago? Have you told him? You know why we broke up? <laughs> no, not yet. Tell her. Not only did you dump me because of how you felt about this guy, he's your best friend. At the very least, he'll be understanding about it all. Mary, it's not something I can just pop into conversation. Oh, hi, you remember how I used to pull your swing togs down when we were kids? Well, I kind of still want to do that. It's not the greatest icebreaker, besides, I mean, do you consider why you came here in the first place? I know you've told me a little bit about what happened up there with, what's her name? Tanya. Tanya, yeah, all right. Interesting that, Tanya, Tama, Tanya, Tama. You get where I'm going with this thing. Mary. Think about it. What's the first thing he thinks of doing? He comes to you. And not only that, he wants to chat with you. Yeah, that he trusts me and is relying on his friend to help him through a tough time. I mean, I don't want to add to his problems. Hang on. You're a whoop, Tama. Tell him. Hey, Tama, this is my friend Sarah. She's going to help us set up for the party. Pleased to meet you, Tama. Hi. Don't look so worried. Party's going to be awesome because I'm going to bring the awesome. <laughs> my cousin's coming too. He's nearly as awesome as I am. I'm setting him up with Ellie here. She's going to be so happy because I totally know how to pick a guy. In fact, are you single? Because I've got another guy I know I could probably set you up with. Alicia, oh, come on. No, I didn't. Not really. Does he know? Lee, is that Lee's voice I hear? <gasps> Rambo! Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hi. I'm Graham. I'm Sarah. You're cute. Are you single? You're not into girls though, are you? Cute guys never are. They're always gay. Or bi. Oh, it's okay well, if you're bi. Sarah, Sarah, into the guy chance to breathe. Trust me, Graham is not gay. Oh, you big hulky elf and now you. <laughs> not as far as I was aware. <laughs> hey, what's up with you? <sighs> oh, not much, only I have a blind date tonight with Sarah's cousin. You, on a date? Yes. Have civil defence been warned? Shut up. <laughs> God, I've missed you. I'm oh, so sorry to hear how that bitch strung you along. Sometimes you make a mistake. I thought there was something there. I was wrong. Anyway, I needed a fresh start, and <laughs> Tom has been my best friend for ages. I knew it'd be the guy to come to. Mm, so I don't need to find a guy for you. Hey, Sarah, I need some help getting the sausage rolls ready for the party. <gasps> sausage rolls? I love cooking. A party? Yeah, didn't he tell you? We've invited heaps of the old crowd around to welcome you back to Wellington. You guys didn't need to organise a party. You know Mary Brown, once she sets her mind to something, it kind of just happens. <laughs> she reminds me, you fancy some fresh air? Um, Mary realised with everything that was going on, she forgot the soft drinks. Mary, forget something. <laughs> yeah. I know, she's blaming Sarah for losing her bags. <laughs> At least in the shop or something, got the directions. <laughs>
she kept me thinking that she was interested, that there was a chance. But then bam, she'd go and pull the rug right out from underneath me again. <laughs> well, wait, wait a minute, so you, you never actually went out with her? Yeah, well we would talk about it. Yeah, right, right, but you never actually asked her out? Yeah, I did. Fram, buddy, saying you're really nice, I mean that's not asking her out, it just sounds to me like you came across as too desperate, or, or we're waiting for her to give you the green light. No way, I really liked her. Yeah, but did you really love her? Um, Tama, where are we? Toto, I have a feeling we're not in, in, in Wellington anymore. <laughs> that was pretty gay. What's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing, just, you know, it sounds a little Friends of Dorothy if you get my meaning. Yeah, well, you sounded pretty gay there too, Toto. Toto? Well, fun Toto, that makes you Dorothy, ergo the gayer one. Uh, no. Technically that makes me the one that dresses like a woman. Don't have to be gay to do that. Hey! <laughs> Darth Harlequin, what's the deal? Run! Run! Well, that was close. What in the name of the three are you two doing? Whoa, why don't you tell us what the hell that was? Yeah, what's with the whole Narnia deal back there? <laughs> Narnia? <laughs> no, no, no. It's nothing like that. The, well, the, in, it kind of, uh, well, it's a bit, all right, maybe it is a bit like Narnia, I, I guess. But you can't tell anyone. The council doesn't take kindly to this kind of thing getting out. Like anyone would believe us. Well, this is Wellington. I mean, I do know a few people that... Probably. Sure, they're probably from there. And where's there exactly? The Winding City? The nexus point between potential and reality? Uh, who are you? Uh, Chaos Jantaro. And you? Well, I'm Tama. This is Bram. <laughs> we really have to be going. Well, uh, look, if you see any more of those things around, can you let me know? Here's my card. Well, we both saw it. We have to find some way to go back there again. This could change the whole way we look at this world. And what about all that nexus point between potential and reality the stuff? The guy said we shouldn't talk about it, and I'm inclined to take him up on that offer. I mean, what are you going to do? Jump in every closet looking for Never Neverland? What have you done that? Don't need to go back there again. What? <clears throat> um, just, you know, one close call with Strange is quite enough for me. Okay. I'm going to see what the others are up to. Here's my card. Stick it on a convenient door and I'll come help. Hey, have you guys seen Sarah? No, last I saw she was talking after the storm about something. Yeah, I think I saw her answer her cell phone and then she rushed out of the room with a massive grin on her face. Oh God. What's up? Her cousin. The one she's setting me up with, the one she's basically been talking about since we got here. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. But how did you guys meet? Oh, well, you know how I was seeing, I had that date with that Reiki healing guy, the one who talked non stop about synergistic crystal healing? Oh, yeah. yeah. From Coke bottle earrings. Oh, Boy, so tattoo. <laughs> well, Sarah's the one that saved me from that disaster. She was at the other table and she just said, Sisters, preserve us! Can't you see she's not interested in your stupid crystal theory? How does that even work anyway? Makes no sense at all. Don't you ever shut up? <sighs> Hi, I'm Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Alethea. So what about this cousin then? You seen a photo? No, she doesn't have one. The only thing she has is some painting, a family heirloom. She says he travels a lot. Oh no, you don't think he's like that Chattanooga choo-choo, do you? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he was a nice guy. He just had the smoking problem. Smoking problem? You mean the guy who was like kissing a crematorium? <laughs> yeah, it's better than the sales guy, right? Oh <laughs> we yeah, we did get those shoes, they're darling. Okay, so I have bad luck with dates occasionally. I can't believe you don't have bad luck on dates. You seem to single-handedly pick the worst possible dates known to man. You're like the Magneto for weird guys. Leaf, I love you, but maybe it's true. Maybe you should let Sarah do the choosing for you. Hey everyone, I'm really excited. I don't know if he was going to show because of his work schedule and his jet-setting lifestyle. He's really rich and cool and awesome. And okay, I want you to meet my cousin, Kaj. Definitely in the better category. Okay, suddenly I'm feeling better about this one. So what happened? Oh, I gave her my best line and then she just looked at me like I was an imbecile and, and, and turned and walked off. It was so soul destroying. Did you, what, did you, what did you say? I just, you know, I said, you know, hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? <laughs> just pleased to see me. Oh man. I'm not trying hard enough, are you? Oh yeah, you know me. Hey look, I'm gonna go and get us some more beers, alright? Yeah, cheers man. <laughs> 